Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. You are watching Cyber Talks with Ali. In this video, we will talk about the latest threat actor against VMware ESXi servers. A custom ESXi ops ransomware script is used to exploit an old RCA vulnerability. We will deep dive into the attack against VMware ESXi servers in detail. Let's get started. On 3rd February 2023, there was a surge in attack against VMware ESXi servers. Threat actors were leveraging an old vulnerability CVE 2021-21974 in order to gain remote code execution and launch ransomware attacks. The open SLP version used in EXE version 7.0 before and 6.7 and before and 6.5 and before are vulnerable to this heap overflow attack which allowed attackers to perform remote code execution. A member of the bleeping computer forum thread with the access to the targeted server shared a script as you can see on the screen, script and executable found on their ESXi servers. These files were reportedly used to encrypt the content of their ESXi servers. Let's talk about the overview of the files which has been shared, encrypt.sh, the script. The script is used to prepare the target for encryption and load the ransomware payload that is used to encrypt the servers. This script looks for the specific file extension like .vmdk, .vmx, .vmf and many more on the server. As you can see on the screen, the extension of the files goes on and on and calculate their sizes and start the encryption. It is also responsible for editing the configuration of the servers, renaming important files. This is done in order to make it difficult to restore the system. Once all the operations are done, the script performs a cleanup and leaves a ransom note on the victim's server. Encrypt binary that has been ransomware payload binary is used in the script to encrypt the target files on the servers uses an RSA public key and the source mon code stream cipher to encrypt the files. Let's talk about the technical analysis of these files encrypt.sh. The script is written in the bash and it is responsible for preparing the system and calling the ransomware payload in order to encrypt the files once done it performs a cleanup on the system when we talk about the encryption there are two operations basically attacker trying to perform one was the pre-encryption operation the script starts by setting it working directory as a temp files that has been used for this attack has been stored in the temp folder after this it uses the command esx cli vm process list grip config file to find the configuration files associated with the virtual machines on the server. It then replaces the files of the disk image and swap files in all configuration files with the 1.vmdk and the 1.vswp. This is done to make that difficult for victims to recover and reconfigure the virtual machines since identifying the disk images and the swap files will be nearly impossible. As you can see on the screen, the, the screenshot of the bash script has been the cleanup directory, the temp directory and the commands which has been executed to renaming the disk files and all that has been highlighted. After this, the script kills the running VM processes using the kill command. The script now ready for the starting the encryption of the files. Let's talk about the file which encrypts the files in the victim's machine. This script start encryption operation by encrypt binary executable for all users and group using the command chmod plus x then it iterates over the file system contents looking for all the files with extensions as you can see on the screen all these file extensions are used by the virtual machines for example disk images whether it might be configuration files swap files and etc as you can see on the screenshot that has been the batch script which is looking for the files with the targeted file extensions the script then calculates the size of the file that have the targeted extension and gives the target file name extension and the sizes as arguments to encrypt the binary along with the a.pem key file. Upon investigation by the researcher teams, they have been found that users and binary it was found that the .pem file is a rsa public key which is used to encrypt the process you can see on the screen argument taken by the binary which has been shown in the screenshot the comments the encryption process note 
that there is an .args file created for every file that is encrypted containing metadata about the file this could be needed for the description of the processes once the encryption is done and dusted the post encryption process has been followed and cleanup has been done on the virtual machines once the files are encrypted the script first replaces the message for the day files with the ransom note it then deletes the all lock files in order to cover its attack it makes sure that encryption process is over before it proceeded to do so it then deletes the files in the host d probe which is file used for the host d daemon to manage virtual machines in the event that backup of these file exists it modifies the timestamp of the file to hide the any changes made to the file you can see on the screen deletion and alteration of the host hyphen probe and host d hyphen probe that backup files depending on the vmware build script executes different operation if the vmware build version is not 7.0 it executes the following steps to hide the cron jobs run by the root user the script modifies the content of the root file it deletes the first eight lines of the file rename the new file with a new rename the new file to the name the original file deletes the original file changes the timestamp of the new file deleting and recreating of the root cron tab files and everything for vmware build version 7.0 it removes the first line of the host d hyphen pro file and overwrites with the original file once the pre and post encryption operations are done lastly the script conducts its cleanup operation the cleanup operations are deleting the files using vm toolstar or py script that has been this file is associated with the backdoor created for the esxi servers in the past deleting the last line of the files in the endpoints.config and modifying the timestamp clear the content of the local.sh file to modify the timestamp modify the timestamp of the host.prop.sh file delete all files used in the attack which are stored in the working directory after the cleanup operation done and dusted the script starts the sss service possibly in the event that the threat actors want to return to the server when the, all the process has been done it's time to display the ransom note the final step you can consider the ransom note is displayed to the victims containing the ransom amount in bitcoin and tox id which as the victim are told to reach out in order to decrypt their files repeatedly the amount of bitcoin and the tox id differs from the victim to victim the group demands the ransom amount via following btc address as you can see as of now there has been no payment has been done for this provided btc addresses at the end of this if you consider the total summary of this attack surface threat actors attack vmware exi servers using the custom ransomware script the ransomware exploits an old rca vulnerability cve 2021-21974 in the evx exxi version 7.0 and before impact of this attack the ransomware encrypts the files stored in the servers using rsa and sysmonk stream cipher this lead to a loss of data business continuity and revenue As a mitigation, update the servers to latest version and install the necessary patches. Regularly backup all the data stored on the server that can be recommended as a generic recommendation. I hope this analysis of the VMware EXI server ransomware attack has been helpful for your environment as well. I hope you love this video. Please consider subscribing this channel too for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Till then, next time. Bye bye.